Anvil. Can we? Oh, these are just planets. All right. Huh. Where should we move now? Maybe to Fangkor. Also planets. I'd rather not use our resources for things we can. Uh, we can build colonies on later. But here, Menok or Diop. Look at that. Yeah, let's go over there, build a research station. System survey complete. Tiffin. Xanar class. Ah, oh, the Dominion of Yig is now researching here. Oh, let's go over here. Construction complete. Meet new friends, perhaps. The HUM potential. Very, very nice. Now, let's spread our potential, shall we? To Tidis 1A. Not a very big world, but with good resources nonetheless. Go over there quickly. Oh, something, something happened. The near sentient natives of Grinstead are causing a ruckus on the outskirts of our colony. Something about the United Arkham Star Republic's continued presence here visibly agitates them as packs of them scurry to and fro between the settlement's borders and some unknown point to the east. Try to figure out where they are going. Maybe some some cult? A group of xenologists departed the colony together with a contingent of military personnel tracking the movements of the native life forms. What they found were the remains of some ancient seed ship, evidently the nucleus of some small primitive civilization long since decayed into nothing. The dominant native species on Grinstead seem to be the product of some age-old seeding or genetic manipulation program. Going by the structures surrounding the seed ship, they were once distinctly tribal with greater intelligence and even a rudimentary written language. We cannot begin to guess what caused their species-wide devolution, but their behavior makes more sense now. On some instinctual level, they recognize us humans as similar to their original uplifters from the stars. Perhaps our ordered society calls out to some instilled impulse to order, drowned out by their baser nature. Maybe we can eventually ease their evolutionary anxiety by uplifting them to our level, but for now we have gained valuable insights into the manipulation of organics by ancient space foreign cultures. Fascinating. Maybe we can help them come to sentience again. Colony established. Ah, we have a colony established now. There we are. Piranha. And the Bacturians, they are not doing badly here. In Birana. But let's manage the sector. We'll give that over to you. Oh, we cannot... Oh, the system is not a neighbor of this sector. Maybe if we add Menok, yes, then we can add Birana. Oh. That's curious how this worked. Lasters will fall off then. Oh, no. We will have to do something else then. Maybe we'll create an entirely new sector. This here, Barnard's Star and all of that. Uh, we'll finish that. 
We will have to make a new sector somewhere here. Probably I wanted Apollonia to be the new sector capital. So let's do that. Create a new sector here. Sanopal. The Apollonia sector. And we can go here. Take Sidor. Adar. Gothra. Hmm. Yiriam. Ah. Well, Ardok and, and the others are not in that sector then. I'll have to live with it, probably. Ah, removing this system from the sector will disconnect other systems. So this is in the sector after all. System is outside of our borders. We could add Tharam. Somehow, yes. And this system here. Yeah, let's do that. Now we'll only have five planets to manage, which is much easier on us. And now we will need another governor for this sector. There should be someone free here. Let's assign a leader to the sector. Max Ziegler is available. That's very good. And Hydar Albariki is also available. I think we want Max Ziegler here. The builder. And uh, yeah, we will go for industry development for now. Respect the tile resources. Yeah. And we want these sectors to be uh, building themselves up, maybe. Because we don't need that much at the moment. Now we still have Grinstead under our control with the work suck. And this desert world, which will be hard to, uh, to manage. Or harder. We'll build a hydrophonics farm there, too, though. Delphi. Everything going well there. Mendes. Going good as well, but I want more growth here. And of course, Grinstead. I think we can upgrade this. Yeah, we'll need some System money. System survey we can complete. Upgrade it. Science ship in Wegmore. Oh, we have the Vasi Maelstrom here. Let's let's look at that. Girdwood is established. Yes, the Tiffim system has been fully surveyed. Interesting. Oh, and they are all migrating to Apollonia. <laughs> That's bad somehow. Research but it's also complete. Good. Ah, we have completed the research of biodiversity Ooh. studies. Yeah, that groundwork. Studying the different forms of life that appear on our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. Now, Gretchen, what will you... Ah, 
We have the galactic ambitions now, which means we will see what happens when we move Marco Bello over to society research. Yes. This is okay. No scientist, but we will include a scientist here now, which would be Gretchen. And Marco Bello will survey, uh, will research the galactic ambition. What's going on in Ardokt? Yes, we can build another research station. Very good. And I think in the future we may have to disassemble this whole sector. System survey complete. And then make this a sector instead. The Vasi Maelstrom. Oh, let's be cautious here. Survey the other system quickly. Construction complete. Yeah, good. Wood is there. Move him over here. Bacturian Mindus. And now we need to. Uh, we need to remove something. We cannot remove the toxic kelp yet. Yeah, I think it's okay. We can now build something here. Probably a basic science lab. The hatchling is in Kurgaros. Uh, nothing much, eh? There, the anvil. We can send this ship over to Diop for some mining stations. Rivalry. Oh, the Traskarans. <laughs> Poor Traskarans. They will soon be gone. The orbit of Menok. Yes. Ah. The Dragolva have an embassy back at ours. That's very good. And Menok is fully stationized, if you so want. And we have built mining stations here in Dio. Let's go for the last research station then. Now! Wow! Enlightenment completed. The thousands of scientists and advisors we sent to Pyramid have finally completed the arduous task of bringing the local civilization up to an early space age level of technology. Under their new unified government, the aliens now style themselves as a Dethakan confederation and have agreed to become our vessels. Our observation post above their homeworld has been dismantled as per conditions of our treaty with them. This is a, another great day. Look at that. And we have a shared sector with them. Let's look at this. Very nice. Hello there. Dethakan Confederation. They are despicable neutrals. What? <laughs> what makes a species turn neutral? Lust for gold, power, or were they just born with hearts full of neutrality? It's a placeholder personality and should not show up in-game. Interesting. There are xenophiles, pacifists and spiritualists. Xenophiles, of course, because of us, yes. They, they met us and... Uh, we can... In we can integrate the subjects. Uh, has to have been a subject for 3600 days. And I think we will need to establish an embassy with them quickly. Yeah. Let's do that. 
Now, who do we have an embassy with at the moment? The Great Vormis, the Carnans, and the Dragolva. I don't want the. I don't want want our embassy to go away here. <sighs> we need these embassies, so we'll just. I guess we'll just wait the three thousand six hundred days. Guess I guess. <laughs> Oh, and let's let's see what are they made of, so to say. Um, contacts, species, the Dethakans. They are venerable conformists and have a continental preference. They are all good. They are all good. Six pops are living on a planet in our galaxy. Very good. We are gaining friends, power, and uh, yeah, our Star Republic will expand. I'm very curious when we'll have uh, the first Victorian leader with us. I think we should move over to Tidis. Yeah, let's do that. Still have to find vo uh, void cloud systems and track them. Mm, nothing much. still being built. Going on for a while, I guess. Birdwood, Grimstead. Yes, this is a very interesting planet. Mindos. Hmm. Uh, maybe we could remove some of this later. Now this is going pretty well. Soon we'll be able to uh, build a new center there. And our research is going up massively. System survey complete. Let's look at the science ship. Oh, there is a void cloud system. No. Let's survey that. Research complete. Construction complete. Oh, super solid materials now. Was very expensive. Engineering facility too. Production and understanding of super solids are of immeasurable value to any and every space age civilization. And what can we go for next? Hmm, nothing much. So we'll go for some groundwork. Aurelium mining. The Aurelium plant. Ooh. Modifies ships. Interesting. Or we could go for the caramel metal materials. With the better armor. Huh. Now we have something for void craft now. So we could uh, move Gretchen here. Yes. And let's research her destroyers and we could uh, rather move Alma in here. Very good. So Gretchen is going for her specialty. That will help us much. 
This science switching is very helpful, I think. I don't know <laughs> if it will be kept. <laughs> it seems like some kind of exploit. And Loisar has been surveyed. I think we have sent them over already. Yes, we have. Ah, the Traskarans. Oh, God. The Traskarans will be not long for this world. I mean, look at them. These are the Traskarans. These are the Ikanans. Enough said.